Hey guys, welcome back. So sometimes I answer comments and questions. Please, I encourage you, that, I encourage you to put them and I answer them. So then I'll make full videos. Sometimes it'll be more quick. And you know, today I'm gonna answer three questions from three of my subscribers. From uh, one is from Shrikant Shrivastava, one is from Shanu Zaman, and the other is from Peter Godak. All right, show real fast. Hey guys, welcome back. So Shrikant Srivastava, uh, he asks me why some ready properties such as Serena and Villanova are delayed in handover for more than a year. What can be the reason? Is government playing any role in this delay to control the falling rent? So let me answer the last part first. The rents are actually not currently falling. The rents are actually going up uh, by quite a fast pace, okay? That's what's currently happening in the Dubai market. And you have to understand why, because you know the Dubai market's small. If you take three million, okay, let's take half a million people and put them into the US market. The US market is 340 odd, 350 million people, right? So you put half a million people in the US, they just get absorbed. It makes no difference to the US. But you take half a million people and put them into Dubai or the UAE, makes a big difference because the grand population is about nine or eight or seven million, right? So Dubai is about 3.5 million. So the, the Delta is quite large, which is why, because a lot of people who are, you know, dodging lockdowns, trying to avoid income tax, because Dubai has this income, ta income tax free status, uh, they just want to live in a safe environment. High net worth individuals are coming to Dubai. You know, Dubai rents have been going up quite fast in some cases. Just my team personally has rented out a villa 45% above what it rented out just one year before. So that's number one about the rents. Number two, why are they delayed? Uh, I hate to bring you this news, but you know, one of the reasons could have been that last year there was a global pandemic, this global weird pandemic. Everywhere else in the world and including Dubai went into lockdown for a couple of months. You know, when things go into lockdown, these big sites take time to mobilize bring workers off, take time to mobilize and bring workers back on as well. That's number one. Uh, number two, there was a very large construction company or a contracting company called Arabtech. This was in the news uh, that was, um, you know, it, 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 it dissolved into smaller companies or something like that or went bankrupt. But uh, if, if that company was uh, in part responsible for some of those villas, uh, then if they've got subcontractors that need to be paid, so on and so forth. But one thing I want to say to you, you know, these projects that you've mentioned over here, they buy very premium developers uh, in Dubai. They're part of the government's vision. The government owns them. So they do their best to mitigate uh, the fallout, you know, even with the global pandemic, right? They're going to take a very proactive approach to make sure that things get resolved for you. So hang in there, you know, don't count last year. 2020 was, I wouldn't say it was a bad year for myself personally, but that's just the way I look at life, right? We had amazing lessons we all learned. You know, some of us were stuck at home with the family. Maybe, you know, you grew closer to your family, spent some time with your children, so on and so forth. And hopefully we'll look back at that year and laugh and smile and say, look, we survived uh, and now we're doing amazing. Alhamdulillah. But, you know, give, give cut some slack to the people who were affected, you know, uh, and, you know, sometimes things happen like that. So it's called force majeure and it's in your contract as well with the developer um, that things such as this, you know, such as earthquakes, war, pandemics, like nobody can foresee something like that. Okay, moving on. Another question by Shanu Zaman. Hey, seeing the hype for the Cherry Woods Miras townhouses, would you please make a video about that particular project? It would help a lot of confused people and certainly owners like me. So again, I don't do specific projects on YouTube. Uh, specific projects for, on YouTube, I don't do them. I do general, and I'll give you some general advice that you'll be able to apply. But if you want to want us to look into a specific project uh, in a deeper way, should you sell it, should you buy it, because he says that he's an owner himself, should you hold it? Look, we can do the due diligence for you on a more deeper level. Of course, it's paid service, 
uh, but now here's something you should like, this is how you think about this, right? What are the communities that this particular developer has uh, delivered over the last 10 years in all of Dubai? What's their track record? What's the track record of the services? What are the track record of the communities that they've already delivered? Have they been proactively engaging the community members and have they been actively uh, upgrading the lifestyle status or the amenities for the people who are living there, right? What's their customer service been like so far? Uh, what's the location been like, you know? Uh, you, sometimes, you know, in that corridor, a lot of townhouses are coming in. You got to watch some of my other videos about townhouses. Sometimes townhouses go up, sometimes schools go up in prices, hotels, hotels, apartments. But, you know, you need to actually look at a particular property or property development very specific to your vision. You, do you have a three year, five year, 10 year vision, right? Do you want to flip? Do you want 30% profit, 50% profit? So why, whereas I can tell you, okay, this is a decent investment. I don't know if this is a decent investment for you, right? The other day, one of my investors, you know, when once he flew down from Canada and we were doing pros and cons on two different developments, and you know, he, he felt or he thought that I was not recommending one of them. And I said, look, it's not about the development on its own. Maybe there are red flags that I will highlight if there are, but the actual, actual, use, actual use of the property should be relative to your personal needs. So do you, you should understand, does this property meet my future goals? So that's important. Here's a question by uh, Peter Godek. Peter Godek 2, okay, it's in the number, in his name. Is it now good time to buy an upgraded villa in Arabian ranches, one Al Mahra? Again, you know, advice is very customized to your particular specific requirement and specific needs, right? And I'll explain how we do this, right? I would run a strategy consultation for you, understand your requirements, your needs, what's your future outlook, how long you're gonna be in Dubai, do you want it to be liquid, why are you attracted only to Arabian Ranches One, maybe there's emotional needs, maybe the kids go to school over there, maybe you've lived, been living there for 10, 20, 15 years, so on and so forth, right? Then we would, after that, from the strategy development, we would look at uh, we would come up with five pillars of uh, action and we would look at comparables. We'll look at other communities. Are there other communities that give you more liquidity, more capital, more options on capital appreciation? Is this just going to be an emotional purchase where your heart is involved? Like for example, right? A billionaire wants to buy a penthouse in New York. Does it make sense? I don't know. For a millionaire, it doesn't make sense to buy a penthouse in New York. How many times are you going to fly into New York? for a millionaire, right? A millionaire is going to fly into New York a couple of times a year, and you can probably spend that money living at the Ritz, Ritz the St. Regis, or St. Regis, or uh, you know, the Dorchester, or you know, one of those top end five-star hotels, you could probably rent a presidential suite, right? But that's for a millionaire. For a billionaire, you know, I want to be able to fly in, and I want to be able to go and live in my own penthouse. I want to be able to entertain friends. I want to be able to leave my clothes over there. I don't want to be able, I don't want to have to lug my clothes around. You know, it just depends, right? So is it the right time? Look, Arabian Ranches is an old community. Therefore, the houses, you know, they're 10, 15 years old uh, in some cases. And, you know, is it the right time to buy an upgraded villa? The upgraded part, we come later. Is it the right time for you to purchase in Arabian ranches? That's where we start with the due diligence. You look at several other comparables, negotiation options, and then we come up with what's right for you, right? I hope I was able to explain this. If you want our services, reach out to us. Happy to discuss further. Ciao for now. Okay guys, so thanks for watching. My name again is Fahad Daud. I've been doing this for 14 plus years. I started in 2006 in Toronto, Canada, and since 2007, I've been doing this in Dubai. I generally talk about real estate, your life, my life, and our path to allowing financial bliss coming to us. If you want to work with me, such as buy a property in Dubai, or you need general advice, you can hit me up on the con in the contact form below. If you've liked this video, I'd appreciate if you subscribe, press the bell icon and hit the like button and share it with other friends.